Hadron here. We're out with uh, the yellow spark, gold spark, whatever. And we're just going to take this for a flight. This is going to be a flight review. Uh, we're not even going to show any footage. I'm going to keep this near me so you can see how this uh, responds. We are not in sport mode. We are going to go ahead and take off. Slide to take off. And it is up. Home point recorded. Uh, it says unpaved aircraft area. Obstacle avoidance is off, so fly with caution. And then we'll just get up in here. And as we are close to this, we have a warning that there's an object 0.5 meters away from us. Despite the fact that obstacle avoidance is off, I still I think it still gives you that. You can see uh, the battery here, which actually I don't believe you can see. But um, once you charge these batteries, if you let them sit and then go back to them and they feel a little bit warm, check your voltage. After they sit for about uh, 7 to 10 days, they will discharge. It's a smart feature that DJI has, that way you don't ruin your batteries. And we're just going to fly it around here. This is not in sport mode. I'm going to bring it down, give you another good look at it. We'll get it turned this way. Go back. Get a really good look at the spark here. And again, watch the gimbal. We're going to go ahead and tilt this way. The gimbal is stabilized. When we go back and forward, it stays stabilized. That's the whole purpose of that gimbal. And we're just going to do a little fly out. We'll do a fly out to the birch tree, which uh, should be about 100 meters. So I think I have that clock that just about 100 meters. You should be able to see this the entire way. Get a little bit small out there. What are we at? We're at uh, 61 meters. We're not quite at, at the birch tree yet, I don't think. And right now we're at 82 meters and we're going to turn around just because that's going to be really small and you guys probably aren't able to see it right now. But we got it. Let's see. Turn it more. Turn it more. I'm not paying attention to FPV. Just trying to actually fly this like I fly any other like toy grade drone where uh, I'm trying to just keep my orientation. So there's a lo little look at the run back from almost about 100 meters. And this is not in sport mode. Um, right now we are going to just check. We're at 71% battery life. We are above freezing temps, but we are below 40 degrees. And we have a little bit of wind, as you can probably hear and see. Um, we're going to throw it into sport mode. We've thrown it into sport mode. Now we're going to do a run out to almost that 100 meter mark. We're going to take it up a little, and bam. <laughs> Things got some speed. We're probably... We're probably past that mark. We're going to stop right there. Now we're about at the same mark. We'll go a little bit further and we'll be at 100 meters. We're at 103 meters and we'll just drag it back. That way you can see how fast it'll come back from 100 meters. And there it is. There's the 100 meter dash. <laughs> um, so this thing has considerable speed in the 100 meters. A uh, little funnel action for you. Get this back here and we'll do a rocking horse for you. Yeah, it's cold. My hands are cold. Um, rocking horse. Show you a little responsiveness. We'll do a left to right. And then we'll jump back out of sport mode. There's your left to right compared to sport mode. And rocking horse. There's your rocking horse. We'll jump back in sport mode. <laughs> considerable pitch difference right <laughs> so we're just gonna take this for a buzz around um, yeah I'm not recording on anything I'm not recording I'm not doing a screen recording I'm not recording on the drone itself again the whole purpose of this flight is to give you a basic a basic understanding of how this is gonna move um, how this drone operates that way you can understand hey if you're gonna shoot video do you want it pitching heavy like that did you just see that? Pitch heavy like that? Is that something you're going to want? Probably not. You're probably going to want to take it out of sport mode and you're probably going to want to come forward. That's going to give you a less aggressive stance and it'll give the gimbal a lot of time 
to fixate. Uh, fixate on what it's trying to do. If you do that complete jolt like we did before, there's a possibility it's moving too fast and the gimbal might jump for a second and then it will recuperate. And even at this distance, I'm getting a warning that I'm two meters away from it. Um, and again, I have obstacle avoidance off. We have 55% battery here. And right now we are in, uh, we, we are not in sport mode. My friend from JP Videos, uh, he said there is also a, uh, there's also another mode that you can utilize. I forget what it's called. Um, hmm. Almost maybe like a tripod mode or something where this thing's going to go super, super chill and you'll be able to get like really clean footage that you'll have to access through the features. As you can see, the wind's blowing. It's tilted this way, but the gimbal's straight left to right. We'll get close to that. See that? The drone's tilted, gimbal straight, the wind's blowing, coming this way. And the drone's just chilling. And we are at 49%. We're gonna go ahead and throw it back in sport mode and do, uh, do a little fly out. Yes! I'm gonna come back and my hands are freezing, guys. Maybe the temperature did drop. Maybe it is below freezing or maybe with that wind it's making it below freezing. Let's, uh, a lot of guys probably aren't doing this punch city with this drone. So we'll show you a little bit of punch. And we'll get right there and three, two, one, punch. So that's a little look at the punch there. Um, maybe we'll turn it this way and get a picture. We'll go up a little bit higher. Maybe we'll go this way and face the sun. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. That's not bad. Maybe we'll take a picture of, uh, of the sun. Let's see. Let's go. Nope, that's video. Picture. Am. Wow. I'm messing around with the features here. Excuse me. Uh, we'll take one more picture, and she's up there. Let's see how quickly she descends. Is brutal guys we'll bring it back we'll look at the y'all we're at 38% we'll look at the y'all in sport mode let's see if that changes in the other mode it does you have considerably less y'all and your y'all is your merry-go-round spin that we're doing um, in the other mode so we are at 36%. Let's put a burn on this battery. So you can fly this if you want a sporty drone. Uh, don't, don't think just because this is a great camera platform drone that this ain't gonna do it for you. This has some speed, man. And it has pitching as we showed you on the merry-go-round, or on the, there we go. It has pitching like uh, we showed you on uh, the rocking horse and the left to right pitching, we have pitching in that sport mode. And we are down to 30%, it's in the red. And we are just gonna go ahead and do a hand land here which uh, is going to require me to click land and then I'm going to slide it just like that that's how you do a hand land nice safe you don't got to worry about nothing just don't get your big paws up in, <laughs> up in those uh, which we call in those blades so let's see what type of flight time we got this wasn't a fully charged battery again it started discharging we're almost at a nine minute mark. We still had 27% uh, left on the battery. 
Um, we're going to keep Hattie running. We're going to shut everything down. I'm going to show you the, decay, the case that I'm using. We're going to put our props in line with our arms. We're going to take the cell phone out of here, put it in my back pocket. We're going to turn this off. Yeah, it's cold out, man. Fingers are numb. I thought it was a lot warmer out, but I guess with the sun setting and the wind picking up, just drop that. We're going to flip this open. We're going to put this right there. And we're going to put this guy, let's see, which end? I think it goes this way. Put that guy right in there. And that's it. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. This was a flyability test and a function test of what's in there to spark. Later, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And share. If you want to share stuff, by all means, drop this URL all over the place. Later, guys.